Hi, as you may have heard, Renesis have an exciting new range of 32-bit microcontrollers on the market. The new RX series, high performance, low power, beautiful. Well, to go along with it, they've got the new RX, or what they call the RDK, the Renesis Development Kit, the RX62N Development Board, and it's pretty much all you need to get into these new 32-bit microcontrollers. Renesis have teamed up with a whole bunch of big name industry partners to put this board together. So what that means is that you get a whole bunch of functionality for not much price at all. So let's take a look what you get inside the box. Here's the package and let's take a look at it. One of the first things I notice is this, made in the US of A. Beautiful. Now let's open it up and see what we get inside because a standard uh, development board you would, you would expect to get the board, of course, which you obviously do, which we'll take a good look at. You get the uh, USB on-the-go cable because it's uh, not your traditional uh, Mini-B. It's on-the-go and it has host capability, which is excellent. We'll get into that. And it has a standard USB Mini lead for the debugger, which we'll go into. And in the bottom here, you, of course, get the uh, installation DVD, which has all the uh, software and the drivers we'll go into. And you get the uh, quick start guides as well for the Micrum uh, quick start guide. Tells you step by step how to set it all up. And of course you get the uh, regular quick start guide for the entire kit. Which is really good. We'll follow those later and see if they work. Let's take a look at the board in a little bit more detail. Now, as I mentioned, they have teamed up with some major players in the industry to get this board together. And they tell you all about it on the board, which is a good reference. Uh, National Semiconductor, Analog Devices, Sega, uh, Epson, uh, Akea, Micron, and a uh, Star, and a whole bunch of others to bring you uh, various components on the board and various solutions. Now there's a 5 volt 1 amp jack over here, but that's only if you're uh, powering high powered stuff on here because the RX series micro is such a low power, uh, high performance solution, it can actually be powered from the USB connector over here. So the debugger uh, interface, the debugger slash programmer interface is enough to power the board. You don't need an external plug pack. That's why one is not uh, supplied in it. Now up here we have a um, an expansion header which is for the uh, Wi-Fi, optional Wi-Fi module. Uh, up here we've got the, this is a really key benefit of the board, is the Sega hardware uh, in, in circuit debugger. So so that's actually built into the hardware on the chip. The, the Sega debugger chip itself is built onto there and that's how you program and debug the solution and it uh, ties into the Hue programming interface seamlessly and it just works. It's beautiful. So you've got a real high performance industry standard debugger solution in there. And of course we've got an Ethernet solution built in as well because everything's Ethernet enabled these days or net enabled and it's essential for any good development board to have Ethernet. And that's done with a national uh, semiconductor Ethernet uh, Phi chip on there. So that's all built on. And we've got the uh, USB on the go host down here. That is a full host interface and as you can see uh, the actual mode for that is set by the various dip switches. You've got host, functional interface, and the new USB on the go. So if you're developing uh, USB on the go solutions, this is ideal. And as I mentioned, that actually is not a USB mini B connector. It's a USB on the go. So it's this special on the go connector. But as I said, these provide you with the adapter to convert that to a standard uh, USB-A. And of course you get the Renesis RX series micro in there, the new high performance low power solution. And as with any good development board, it's got selectable run and debug modes, so you can choose the best of both worlds. You can put it in full debugging when you're actually developing your application, and then when you want to uh, actually run the thing and test it and test its true performance, you stick it into the run mode. And we can't forget that the board is designed by Kent Lohman and the guys at Future Designs Inc, Team FDI. So check those out if you're interested in how they actually developed this board in under three months to market. It's quite remarkable. And of course, no development board is complete without a display solution. So you can uh, do a user interface and they've got a very nice one here, a full dot matrix Akea display.
and thoughtfully they've provided a total phase beagle board compatible interface connector so you can hook the board up to a beagle board uh, serial decoder which is really quite handy when you're trying to troubleshoot those serial protocols and we've got an external serial flash as well we've got a micro SD card because a lot of designs these days will have will need some sort of uh, external storage solution and micro SD is definitely the way to go RS-232 for all your legacy uh, things and we've got uh, down here we've got an analog input pot which goes into the ADC which you can use to control various things we've got a uh, microphone solution down here a speaker audio amplifier and uh, output headphone driver as well there's also an interface for a character LCD module as well and a little prototyping area which is pretty essential when you just need that small amount of additional circuitry which isn't on this board. You can simply add it in the corner without having separate boards hanging off via flying leads and it's quite ugly. You can actually build it onto the board so that's really handy. Plus they've got the additional uh, I.O. interfaces up here which are connected uh, top and bottom here which are connected through directly through to the pins of the microcontroller, the spare pins. And there's one real attention to detail on development boards that sets them apart from everything else, and that is comprehensive labeling on the board. In this case, it's on the bottom of the board here. As you can see, it's got a whole bunch of uh, information. These are all the uh, Renesis partners which have helped put the board together. But as you can see, these uh, user interfaces, top and bottom here, have full uh, silk screen designators for all the pinouts to tell you uh, which pins of the microcontroller they hook up to and what their functionality is. It is great. I love that. And that's just real handy when you're developing stuff. You don't have to go look at the documentation. It's all there for you. I love it. And there's the MAC address, of course, for the Ethernet. And if you want more information, you don't have to search through the website and hunt around to try and find stuff. All the addresses you need are on the back. It's great. And here's some basic specs for the RX series microcontroller they've got on here. It is a 32-bit CPU, but it's got a floating point unit as well and an Ethernet Mac built into it. Uh, maximum clock rate of 100 megahertz. Performance is a massive 1.65 DMIPS per megahertz, which is quite phenomenal. Supports up to 512K um, or to 2 megabytes of flash memory, which is great. All at zero weight state, by the way. Uh, 96 kilobytes minimum of SRAM, which is awesome for those sort of applications which are SRAM hungry. It's got a uh, built into the chip is the uh, Ethernet Mac, the 10100 speed. It doesn't do one uh, gig uh, Ethernet Mac, but you can get those as external solutions quite easily. Uh, it supports CAN as well for those automotive applications. Uh, as we've looked at, it's got full uh, USB device host and on-the-go capability. A 12-bit ADC, not a typical uh, 8 or 10-bit one. And of course, the new RX series micros are very low power. Only 500 microamps per megahertz uh, active power consumption, which is terrific for well, pretty much everything. Power is important these days, so it's important to have a microcontroller solution, which is as low power as possible. And if you're into automotive applications, you'll be very pleased to see a full CAN transceiver on the board and some generic uh, I.O. switches just for interface as well. And I almost forgot, we aren't done yet. We've got a serial temperature sensor and a three-axis accelerometer as well. And these are circular LEDs here, which can be used as just generic I.O. Or, as you can see, for uh, motor capability. So you can see the uh, motor, the multi-phase motor rotation, which is terrific. I've just been through the installation process on the DVD, which took quite some time, but only because it is feature-packed and it comes with a whole bunch of tools for your embedded development. Not only it comes with the Renesis Hue environment, which is a complete IDE and embedded uh, development environment, it also comes with the IA. AR uh, embedded compiler as well. It comes with all the Micrum uh, tools, including the full Micrum Micro C OS book as well on a PDF file that is awesome and a whole bunch of other stuff that you can install uh, either optionally you don't have to install them all but I've installed everything and here I am running the Hue environment 
Now I followed the quick start guide included with the kit and it was very easy to load up one of the example files here as a new project. In this case I've got the uh, Ethernet example which is a complete embedded web server on the board. So it's a great example application that really demonstrates the capability of how you can connect your embedded devices up to the web. Now it went through seamlessly. All you have to do once you've loaded in the project, here's the full uh, source code for it in all the project associated project files that all installed automatically. No problems at all. You go up, you choose the debug option. You want the JLink debugger option here and you go up to debug and you connect. And we are, I'm physically connected to the board now via the Sega J-Link debugger. You click OK. And bingo, we're connected to the board. There's a whole bunch of advanced uh, options here, which if you're designing your own custom application, you would go into. But we'll just hit OK because we want the default options. And bingo, we are now connected to the uh, RX uh, development board via the Sega debugger. If we go into debug and we just go download, and we just want to download all modules. In this case, it's the Ethernet example. And bingo, we've uh, downloaded that to the board instantly. It's super quick, by the way. The download is awesomely quick. And we go up to the Reset Go option up here. And that's it. It is now running. I can see the example project running on my board. And obviously, you've got full debugging and um, trace capabilities and all sorts of things built in. But it's really easy to get an example application running on this and that's just an example and you can literally have it running a complete web server running in a matter of minutes and here's the program i just downloaded i released the reset switch it's running it's the uh, embedded web server demo that's the ip address all we have to do is type that into our web browser and we can connect to this board anywhere from anywhere in the world let's try it Okay, let's type that IP address into the browser and see what we get here. There it is. Bang. We've loaded up. We are now talking to that board. We On our Renesis RDK is a complete web server. That's the front page for it. It's rendering the HTML. These are the files that are installed in there in the embedded operating system. We've got some network statistics we, which we can put up. And all this is running being completely rendered on the Renesis RX Series Micro on the RDK board. It's terrific. And over here we can even interact with the LEDs on the front panel of the RDK board. We can actually switch them on or off. So that's an example of how you can interact and control things via your board remotely as a web server. So that's just a very quick and simple example of what you can do with the Renesis RX Series Micro and the Renesis RDK development board and how simple it is to get a powerful application like a web server up and running so easily. I hope you enjoyed it.